Welcome to Just Renew It's instructional video basic training series. This is video lesson part one. In this lesson, we will be covering the basic accessories that are available for our vapor steam cleaning products. What you're looking at now is a detail brush. They're approximately one inch in diameter and come in three different types. The three different types of detail brushes are nylon, which is seen on the left, brass, which is seen in the middle, and stainless steel, which is seen to the far right. These three different brushes are three different hardnesses. The stainless steel is the hardest of the three brushes and can be used for rusty metal, cleaning um, barbecue grills, and so on. They're also useful for cleaning grout, but if you're going to use either the brass or the stainless steel metal brushes, be careful. Use a little common sense. If you're going to use them on tile and grout, start in an inconspicuous area. If you notice there's any marking or scratching uh, happening to the tile, discontinue use and switch to the nylon detail brushes. The nylon detail brushes tend to be the safest of all. This next picture here simply shows the back of one of the detail brushes. Obviously there's a hole in the back of the brush that will receive the single hole detail attachment which we're about to show you. Here you see the single hole detail attachment. It's basically a black tool that fits on the end of your wand or your extension poles and it receives the uh, detail brush. If you look closely you'll see there's a single hole on it and that's how you'll be able to tell that it's a single hole detail attachment. Simply take the nylon brush and press it into the tool. Just twist and push and it'll lock right into place. Um, it's a fantastic tool. It can be used with or without a detail brush. The single hole detail tool comes in two different styles. One, the short black plastic one, which is the most common one and is great for all kinds of purposes. And the longer metal one. This is great for reaching in deep into tight spaces if you're cleaning machine parts, something along those lines. What we're going to do next is show you a short video clip. We're just going to teach you how to attach the detail brush to the single hole detail attachment. It's a very simple process. Just grab the brush and twist it on. Now, you're going to find with the metal detail attachments, like the steel or the brass, they're very sharp and they tend to stab into your hand. So you're going to want to do in that case is simply take a cloth and wrap it around the bristles, then put it in your fist, and then push and twist. So again, there you see it. Just simply put it on, grab it, push and twist until it seats down and you have it nice and easy. And that works the same with the brass, the nylon and the stainless steel. What you're looking at here is the medium round and medium triangle brush. These are fantastic medium surface tools. The round brush is approximately two and a half inches across and the triangle brush is approximately three inches across. You can see from underneath they have a very heavy duty bristle. They're a great scrub brush. They're good for sinks, countertops, individual spot cleaning, uh, just medium surface type cleaning. I uh, use circular motions when cleaning with these. These particular tools are designed to work with the three hole detail attachment as well as the single hole detail attachment. The tool you're looking at now on your screen is actually the three hole detail attachment. You probably can't see it, but where the steam comes out, it actually has three holes in a triangle shape, three different holes that allow the steam to jet out in three different directions. Very powerful tool. Attaching the medium brushes is very much like attaching this, the little detail brushes that we just looked at in the previous segment. But you'll notice on the medium round and medium triangle brush, there's actually like a little a, a slotted section on the top of the tool. And you also notice on the three hole detail attachment, there's a little tab. You want to line those up, and when you press them in, you're going to see that little tab is right there. It's going to slide into that slot. This allows for a two setting function on this tool. We have a short little video clip here for you showing how to attach the three hole detail attachment. See that slot on the round brush? and the tab on the three hole detail attachment, those are going to line up. When you attach that, you want that tab to be between that slot. So simply press, twist, and lock it on down in there. Now what this is going to do for you is allow you to have two different settings on the brush. See when you twist it like that, you have a different setting, um, and underneath what's going to happen is that's going to allow your steam to come out two different ways. One out of all three slots like is being described there, and it gives you a more of a blasting power, and the other way 
is going to be out of the center. It's kind of going to swirl out of the center. That center setting gives you what, what appears to be a much hotter steam, a much more moist steam. It's just a powerful setting for scrubbing countertops and sinks. I, I kind of prefer that setting, but it is a multi-function tool, and we wanted to show you that. And there you have it, the medium round and medium triangle brush. They work great with either the three-hole detail attachment or the single-hole detail attachment. If you do not have a single hole or a uh, three hole detail attachment, simply give us a call. You can order them anytime you like. Most of the kits we sell only come with the single hole detail attachment, but again, they are available to, them, to you if you'd like. Next up, we have our window squeegee tool. It's a fantastic tool for cleaning mirrors, glass, hard surfaces, countertops, you name it. it it's a very good tool. Um, you'll notice that all along the edge of the steam tool, there's steam ports right underneath the blade. This allows you for even distribution of the steam across the surface. There are many ways to use this tool, but basically it is a very straightforward, simple to use tool. The window squeegee attaches just like the rest of the accessories attach. You can either fit on the handle or on the end of an extension pole. Do you see my thumb there with a the little silver button? You simply push that button down and push it into the um, end of the window squeegee tool or large floor brush or whatever accessory it might be. And that little button pops into place and locks into that little hole you see there. We're going to show you a short demo video to, to show you how this is done. Simply take the extension pole, slide it into the back of the window squeegee, press the little silver button, line up the holes, and it pops into place and locks in place. Simple as that. Again, this works the same with the other tools as well. You can see your steam ports. Simply pull the trigger on your handle. It'll steam and squeegee at the same time. A word of caution about using your window squeegee. You want to avoid using the squeegee on glass that is very cold, particularly in the winter months. Uh, if the glass is ice cold and you put that hot steam directly on the glass, there's a chance of cracking. And so always use caution. Um, there are two ways of doing this, uh, working with the window squeegee. One, you can put it directly on the mirror or glass, pull the trigger and have the steam jet out as you're squeegeeing. That's one way. If you feel as though the glass is cold or you have a fear of cracking glass, simply take the, the squeegee, hold it back about 12 inches from the surface, pull the trigger, allow the steam to drift out and hit the glass, and the steam that's drifting out cools rapidly, so it's not very cold. Let that moisture build up in the window, then let go of the trigger, stop steaming, and simply pull the, tr uh, the squeegee down the glass to squeegee the window or mirror, and then wipe the bottom edge. So one way actually puts the steam directly on the glass and heats the glass. The other way really doesn't heat the glass at all. And you're about a foot away, and the steam is just warm by the time it hits it. Um, so there are two different ways you can use that squeegee, but use a little caution and a little bit of common sense, as always. The large floor brush, or steam mop head, is included with virtually every vapor steam cleaning kit we sell. If you're ever not sure, just simply look at the website and check out the accessory package that comes with each unit. When you look at the bottom of your large floor brush or steam mop tool, you notice there's a whole series of ports that run the whole length of the steam mop. Now this is to let the steam out evenly across the pad. Uh, it's really a great tool. This plastic guard that you're looking at now, that plastic cover, we do recommend leaving on. The reason we recommend leaving it on is it makes a great support for your steam pad or steam cloth. Um, it just simply provides um, support for it. If you look around the perimeter of the brush, you can see that wide black plastic band. That gives support and even pressure for the cloth. And also there's two cross supports that helps hold the cloth in place while you're steaming. We do recommend leaving it on and it's very hard to put back on after you take it off. Underneath that, you'll also notice that there are some bristles. If you take that cover off, it is a large steam scrub brush. Uh, again, we find it's most useful in its steam mop mode. On the top part of the steam scrub brush, or steam mop head, you notice there are two spring-loaded clips. This allows you to tuck your cloth in. So th the nice part about this tool is that you can use virtually any towel. You can recycle old t-shirts, you can use 100% cotton terry towels, microfiber cloths. There are no special expensive steam mop heads to replace. In fact, we might recommend buying a bag of 24 100% cotton terry towels in a place like Home Depot, Lowell's, or your favorite hardware store. A pack of 24 is only around 8 or $9 and very cost effective. They work well and you can wash them when you're done. So uh, that is one of the beautiful parts of this steam tool. 
Another feature of the large floor brush is on the front edge, right where you see my finger there holding the tool, there's a rubber squeegee. So if your floor ever gets wet and you want to use it as a squeegee to pull water across the floor, just simply flip the tool to the rubber edge, pull, and squeegee. So this tool actually has three functions. It's a squeegee, it's a scrub brush, and it's your steam mop head. A uh, very good multifunctional tool designed to last for years. These things are ruggedly built. They're used by contractor and they're commercial grade. You're now looking at the medium rectangle brush, sometimes called the upholstery brush. You'll notice it has tapered bristles. Those are nylon bristles, the short ones in the front right onto the back. It has longer ones. And you also notice it has a spring-loaded tab on the back. This tab, or this spring-loaded clip, is used for, to allow you to put a steam cloth on there. So if you wanted to use this as a handheld steam up, you can. Just simply take a cloth, put this on top of it, wrap the cloth around, and stuff it under the clip, and you have a handheld steam up. It's a useful little tool, and um, it does come with the VC3000 series, at least at the time of the making of this video. notice the spring-loaded clips on the back of the brush, that allows it to be used as a handheld steam mop. And frankly, I love the handheld steam mop feature on this tool. Um, if you look underneath the tool, you're going to notice there's a series of steam ports all around the perimeter. This allows for even distribution of the steam for maximum results. On the back of the brush, you'll notice the spring-loaded clips. These spring-loaded clips make it easy for you to attach the cloth of your choice. It can be a 100% cotton towel, which is my preference. It could be a microfiber cloth. You could recycle old rags or towels from around the house. Anything you like can be used to fit on here. It gives a nice steam mopping effect. It can be used for handheld steam mopping of countertops, walls. It can use, be used with the extension poles to snake behind toilets and tight to reach places. Just a very good multi-function tool. The large triangle brush, just like the rest of our accessories, are contractor grade and designed to give you years of dependable service.